Real quick, before we get started, we have new playmats and new t-shirts at the link below. Go check them out. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. You wanted it, so here we are. This is game two of our games with Tomer and Richard from MTG Goldfish. So we have me on First Sliver Food Chain, Richard on Arden Rograk Equipments, Tomer on Edric Turns, and Cam on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Begin! Everyone have a hand? I got a hand. Mm -hmm. Great. I have a hand as well. Looks like we all have seven. That's incredible. All right, I'll start us off. Draw a card. A rejuvenating springs. Tap that for a flinthorn elves. Pass the turn. I will march flat. Sack it. Go to 39. Do I have a plateau? I will play roadcraft. Cast a soul ring. I will cast a mana vault. A sword of feast of famine. Oh no, yeah, oh, that no. is impressive. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, I might have goofed a little bit. I'm gonna draw. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm punished. No. I thought maybe this land enters a battlefield uh, untapped, but it does not. So it's gonna be entering a Harper. Harbor. Oh, that's entering super... tap. Yeah. And I'll uh, pass the turn. I'll draw. We're gonna go morphic pools while everyone's still alive into. Mystic Remora, pass the turn. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a card. Play a Taiga. I'm gonna cast Deathrite Shaman. Cast Dockside Extortionist. Should be four. Fuck it, I'll give you one. Three treasures for a three blue. Cast a Rustic Study. I'll take it. Everybody gets one. Oh, it's over, I feel. <laughs> I feel left out. Pass turn. Untap, I take one damage. Draw. Play Tyrite Sanctum. You don't know what it does, it adds a colorless. I can pay two to make a creature a god and put a multiple plus counter on it. And I can stack it to make a god in each after I did not know what that does. Uh, I'm still curious as to what it's doing in your deck. <laughs> the Rogak and two shot people with the Colossus happen. You need one more, right? It's a, it's a good land. Uh, it's better than Hinterland Harbor right now. It comes in a yeah. <laughs> That's the saddest start. <laughs> Equip the sword onto Rogat. I guess we hit Cameron. Oh no! Okay. Sword triggers. You discard. I untap my two lands. So long, tarnished citadel. I don't want to write it. For six stage trigger? I will pay for it. Yeah, I'm gonna force to will it, pitching Gitaxian Probe. Cameron, you draw a card, right? Oh, I do draw a card for that. Thank you. That sucks to have to do. Food Chain really can't win through basically any stacks piece, especially Rule of Law stacks pieces. It's, it's, I just, you, the whole Food Chain thing is you cast things multiple times, so. I don't know. It's time for me to pop off. Draw a card. <laughs> no! This hand was so good in theory. I will play a Fenor now. Let's not pay. Pass. I am going to pay for the fish on my upkeep. I'll draw for my turn. We're gonna go Dark Slick Shores and get hard punished for not casting Roger on my first turn, but I'll pay for the Rustic Study. That is all, I will pass. No matter how many times I play this freaking deck, I can never remember to cast Roger on turn one. It's like the first thing you should do before a land even enters the battlefield. You gotta hold up Fierce Guardianship and Deflecting Swat from turn one From on. turn one. Untap. Draw card. Gemstone Mine. Three counters. Cast a Destiny Spinner. Cam Dockside at you. Pass turn. I'll untap. I'll take one damage from Meta Vault. to 37. Play a Mountain. Play my Commander. Risk Study. Fine. I can try. Yeah. I'll hit Dylan. I will take two. Discard Ponder. Untap. Play my Enemies. Pass the turn. Untap. Cast the Mystic Remora of my own. I will pay one, but I won't pay for the Mystic Remora. And that is it. Great. All right, I'll go to my turn. I'm going to pay to keep the fish around one more time. Draw in a Confluence. Go to my discard. Arid Mesa. Untap. Draw a card. Boreal Druid. I'll cast Demonic Tutor. We get some draws, Tomer. Hey. I, get a, I have a response to that. Oh? Oh no, you have a I mind will, sensor. A little mind sensor. Oh yeah. Uh, can I draw a card? I will pay for it. So we get to draw cards up? Yep. All right, I'll look at the top four. Okay. Cam, I'll come at you with a destiny spinner. I will take two, go down to 35. I will pass my turn. Uh, untap, oh sorry, Metabolt is tapped. Uh, go to 36. I'm gonna play a Scalding Tar. I'm going to fetch 35. This is the card I want in my hand. It's not, where is it? Where did the Sacred Foundry go? This is the problems of actually dealing with paper decks. That's true, I'll give you that. Okay, okay, uh, we don't have the Sacred Foundry. We just failed to find, which is fine. Oh, oh no. Do you want to just like pretend and just like get a Sacred Foundry? Because you should have that in your deck. Just find a piece of paper. It's actually it's not like... relevant because you see what I'm doing here. Oh, so the place. Tyrite Sanctum. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing here. <laughs> All right, oh, you, you no. see you see where this is going, right? So, he's a god now. Okay, there is a dockside untapped over there now. That's right. Yeah, don't even think about attack. <laughs> this one will go to Tolman. These two dirtles will go at Cameron. So I'm at 37. I'm at 31. I'll discard Triumph of the Horse. Triggers. That is my turn. Untap. Upkeep. 
I will pay. I will draw a card. Pay blue. Jace is Phantasm. Dylan, you can draw a card. Nice. Pass. I'm going to let my fish die now. I'm going to draw Scalding Tarn. Sack, go down to 30. There's a mind sensor in play. You're right. Thank you. Shit. One, two, three, four. Fail to find. Fantastic. This isn't for the video, but you forget about this like almost oh, every I time. Oh, I know. I know. This like, is. Two this more times is, at least you forget no, about No, no. This is for the video. This is for the video. <laughs> Uh, this is where the, the spiral starts to happen. You know what, Dylan? You can have a card. I'm gonna pay a life for Silas. That's excellent news. We're gonna go to discards. We're gonna pitch this grim monolith. In your discard, hold on, before you do, exile the Eidolon of Rhetoric from Richard's Graveyard with this green mana that I have here, and I will gain two life. 39. Go to me. Draw a card. Play a Morphic Pool. Let's cast him. The first sliver. First sliver. Big Papa. Cascade Trigger. Elves of... Deep Shadow. I have a 7-7. Seven, seven. Richard, I'm gonna come at you for two. I'm at 33. Pass turn. Add another god counter to Rogak here. Two god counters? It becomes a god. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. So it's uh, two plus one plus one counters, but it's They're god, god counters. They, they're much Dear more god, counters. that's two yeah. counters. 32 life yeah, from has a animal. I'll play Jessica, Rice Reborn. Not paying Whoa. for anything. Uh, and I'll draw a card. Oh my, oh no. I'm gonna add a counter onto Rogak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go to combat. So I hit Tomer with the Rogak. That's five commander damage and a sword trigger. I have eight commander damage. I go down to 32 and okay. I discard Unified Will. I will minus one Jessica. I ping the three one ones on Dylan's board. Oh no. Okay. Tap Burial Druid for Kalos mana. I'm done. I'll untap. I'll put an age counter on the Remora. Pay two. Draw a card. That's what I like to see. It's an island. <gasps> I could kill the Jessica. Yes, you should do that. Bro, you should you should leave it so I can keep pinging down. <laughs> that Jessica's you, coming for you next. You know it you, is. Can you leave my my poor one ones alone? I already left it alone. I already left it alone. You did. I also have an Aven mind sensor if I want to really block. <laughs> Oh. Oh, yeah. Ha. You, okay, we have a deal, right? Richard has not <laughs> agreed to this deal at all, so... <laughs> but we can believe uh, we have a deal. <laughs> I'm hitting Dylan for one, then. All right, then I pass. Go to my turn. Untap steam vents. Go down to 27. Sacrifice Roger for a diabolic intent. Pain for Rhystic Study. I get the draw card? Yep. It's top four again, damn it. <laughs> 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 and... Here we go to the next floor of the spiral. Oh, oh, actually what I wanted was in here, so that's okay. I will pass the turn then. Draw card. Go to combat. I'll send Destiny Spinner and the first sliver at Jessica. Block Spinner with Arden. Oh, oh yeah, you counter. can make him into a guy. <laughs> the I'll Sanctum. Hell yeah, you fucking got me, bro. <laughs> CDH oh, All-Star? New tech? Dies. Jessica dies, yeah, I think that <laughs> Tap gemstone mine for a black, removing the last counter and sacrificing it. I'll cast Yagmoth's Will. I was feeling so big brain when I made this play because I made sure to plan it out so the gemstone mine would crack to cast the Yagmoth Will so I could get it again. I was like, oh man, that's such, that's so good. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, is that bad? That's pretty bad. Kind of a value, Yog. It's okay. I have, a, I have a demonic tutor, but I, I'm really just trying to get some of those elves back, to be honest. The demonic tutor is, is pretty good. I won't lie to you. Well, first I'm going to draw a card, I guess. Yeah, Stop I will it. not pay. Cast Obdure, sacrificing a blue permanent, the Mystic Remora. Can you get a draw a card? Okay. Yeah, no, no, no effects. Underground C as my land for turn. Pass a turn. I will untap. Yeah, I will just take a damage from Animal. Draw. Add a plus one, plus one counter to Rogak. Rogak will go after Dylan. Mind Sensor goes after Cameron, and Arden will just stay back. I will take it. I'll go down to 25. No box. So you take okay. six commander damage. Oh boy. And then Sword Trigger. I will discard this Verdant Catacombs. I am done. Untap. Draw a card. Cast Edric. I'm not paying for Rhystic Study. Nice. How many cards are in your graveyard? Dylan? 10. Oh, this is a 5-5 five, five now. Look at Cameron. 5 in the air? Oh, I really didn't want to have to do this, but I'm at 25. Man, everything sucks. I'm going to take 5. I get the draw card. End step, I have to discard down to hand size. Temporal Mastery. Scrib Sprites. Miss Cloaked Herald. Pass the turn. All right, at the end of your turn, I'm going to pay one life down to 19 to Red Blast the Rhystic Study. Can I draw a card? Yeah, you can. Okay. You're allowed to do this. We'll go to my turn. Draw for turn. Well, all right. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Make a red mana. Cast Rite of Flame with that red mana. We'll do a 19 life Ad Nause. Well, I didn't hit 
anything that I was hoping to hit. Well, I guess I get a land drop still. Underground C into Lotus Petal. Sacrifice. Petal for a red. Cast Underworld Breach. I'm going to respond to your Underworld Breach with an, a Death Rite Shaman activation and I would like to figure out what is the best one to do. I think it's going to be a Diabolic Intense because Diabolic. I can get the Rite of Flame, but that's not fantastic and I can't get the okay. Lotus Petal. So. We, have a mind, we have a Mind Sensor on that. Field. See, if he has removal for the Mind Sensor though, because he thought about removing your creature, Tomer, which means yeah. that his removal might hit that mind sensor. So yeah. I think I'm, I'm still yeah. going to do that in case that is the situation. I'm going to exile the Diabolic Intent with Death Rite Shaman and have each of you lose two life. The removal that you had was probably the Red Elemental Blast. That was what you were thinking on, I imagine. Yeah, and that wasn't going to be able to target the Aven Mind Sensor. Yeah. But I thought just in case, I don't want to be an ass and give you the tutor. You know what I mean? Let you still have the tutor and then like surprise you have removal for the Aven Mind Sensor and then you can use the tutor. I feel like that's no good. So just in case, I still think that's like the best target. You can use the other stuff a little bit more mana, it's fine. I'm at 30. Okay, Richard, I'm at if, if you have a lightning bolt, now's your time. I'm at two. Cast Lotus Petal, Sack Petal for a blue, cast it again, exiling three cards, Sack it for a blue, pay one, go down to one. Cast Windfall. Wait, so he's at one, and then he's about to Windfall. So he can't force. That's right, he can't force, he can't mental misstep. Did he have a Fierce Guardianship in that pile? I did have a Fierce Guardianship in the pile, yes. Should I Swords the Silas? Does he want the two life? Do you think it's relevant? If you use it right now, he, he's going to be discarding the Fierce Guardianship anyway, right? So it's free to him? But then, he, have... then his Deflecting Swab or something would be online if he draws it, right? Or if he draws like a Mox Amber or something. I think I Swords it. I Swords Silas. I'm going to Guardianship it. Okay, I will Generous Gift Breach. Oh! Nice. Pay a life. That was good. That was good. All right, yeah, so Breach is dead. This play was so next level. I was thinking about it for like days. The fact that Richard was able to do this is actually incredible. Oh my God. He I got knew, played so hard. He knew that you had the Fierce Guardianship. So, and he knew that he needed to get rid of the Underworld Breach. That was a thing that mattered. The way that he leads into it, he's incentivizing me to spend the counter on the one that's going to target my Silas instead of the one that's going to counter the thing that's actually going to matter. You'll have Force of Will in your hand too and a blue card. And I'm at one. I know, but if you gain the two life, if the Swords resolves, Cameron will go up to three life and then he'll be able to force the second spell. So Richard and kind of Tomer, because Tomer kind of sneakily like lets you know that like, well, if you're wheeling anyway, so you're going to get rid of it. You might as well just blow the Fierce Guardianship, right? Which like, yes, that is very true. And that makes complete logic sense. You know what I mean? Like I would think the exact same thing. So the fact that Cameron was able to bite on that fierce guardianship to Silas Ren. That means that he doesn't gain the life, so his force of will is turned off so that Richard can use his other removal that actually gets rid of the Underworld Breach, which is the real threat. Very tricky stuff. It really was. Big, big plays right there. Swung my whole game around. So windfall happens. I have seven in hand. Same. I have Thassa's Oracle, Repeal, Flusterstorm, Gilded Drake, Mnemonic Betrayal, Notion Thief, and Force of All. I have Phantasmal Image, Mystic Remora, Marsh Flats, Food Chain, Mystical Tutor. I don't care <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Temporal Manipulation, Notorious Throng. Toski, Bear of Secrets, Eladomri, Lord of Leaves, Spell Pierce, Veil of Summer, Rapid Hybridization. Seven, right? Seven. Well, I found all my lands. Well, I, I, I definitely could have built something off of that if I still had an Underworld Breach. I'm going to pass. Draw a card. Richard, I'll exile your land with Death or Shaman to make a white mana. I'll cast Silence. I guess. I'll just mana type you. Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> this saves oh. it. Oh my god. No, you know what? Well, to be honest, this is so hilarious because this is giving me time to remember that Ava Mind Sensor is in play. No. <laughs> no. I'm gonna pay for it with this one. Cool. I have a silence. You have a silence. Well, oh god, I'm fucking hate one. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna instead feel very confident about casting this Llanowar Elves and this Elvish Mystic. <laughs> and play a tropical islands and cast a sylvan library hell yeah i love magic okay let's attack someone with a seven seven how about i'm coming at you richard with the seven seven okay we go to 21. draw off of edric funny 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 pass turn untap take one go to 20 from manable draw mox opal jessica's will pretty good one after a win seven so i have seven floating red and then xl3 
Okay, that was great. Three lands. I guess I will play a command tower. I'm gonna activate Tyre Sanctum. That's what I wanted to do with Jessica's move. <laughs> <laughs> Caddis Emberclaw. Play Swiftfoot Boots. I will pay the last mana to equip Swiftfoot Boots onto Mind Sensor. I can't believe we're gonna about to be beaten by equipments. I can. Okay. I've been here. So we're gonna go to <laughs> combat now. Swing Aven Mind Sensor and Rogak at Dylan, and then Arden to Dylan as well. I'm not gonna block. What's the total? We take 12 damage. Go to 20. Uh, You're 15 10. commander damage. So Caddis triggers. Y'all take eight damage. I'm way dead. I'm at 22. For the sword trigger, I'll discard an overrun tomb. And then now, Imperial Recruiter. So we take Cannonist. I'll play Athalia, but I play Cannonist. I'm done. All right, that's it. That's, it. <laughs> that's all you got here. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'll just I'll just untap. Let's see what you got, Tomer. Oh man, draw a card. I will not block if you attack me, and also let me attack you, so we can draw some cards with Edric to get out of this. I, if you attack me, it doesn't draw cards. Yeah, well, I have a seven-seven. I'll attack him with. <laughs> Dylan, what are you at, by the way? I'm at twenty. I'm just gonna swing Edric at you, Dylan, and I'm gonna swing Jesus Phantasm at, at Richard. I don't block. Fourteen. Eighteen. I'll draw two cards. Play an Island Soaring. Pay two mana. Elvish Pioneer. Basically, a card from your hand onto the battlefield tab. Hey, that goes to me. Sorry, Pam. Tap. No worries. Seven Library. Take four. Go to 14. Play a Forbidden Orchard. Neoform. It costs one more because of Thalia, and as an additional cost, I will sacrifice the Langor Elves. You only get to look at the top. Oh, oh yeah, I know, yeah, I know. But <laughs> it's either this or like nothing. This or pass. So this actually wasn't a mistake. I was just looking to do anything at all. Just Hoping that one card, Gilded right? Drake is gonna be in the top four cards. I'm gonna take Aven Mind Sensor and do something from there. That's the play here. One, two, three, and Holy fucking shit. But the oh. boots are on it, aren't they? <laughs> on the mind sensor, yes. I can't tell you. The amount in my soul that felt like Christmas morning when I was like, oh man, it wouldn't be great if I just got a Gilded Drick off of this because I was like, forgot about the Swiftfoot Boots. I'm like, man, that would just be so great. I just like, you on the fourth one, I'm like, holy shit. And of course it doesn't fucking do anything and it doesn't matter because those damn boots are on the birds. Somehow. Literally that fucking bird has been <laughs> ruined our lives. So problematic. Ruined our game. <laughs> D you bitch. Oh, D you bitch. Idiot bird. Bird, stupid bird. <laughs> fucking A. Take your Roger. You have it with the sword on. So this is a Rograk and it has five counters. Richard, I'll come at you with a seven, seven. Recruiter dies. Pass turn. Untap, take one, go to 13. Wait, wait, I have a Drake though, right? I have a three, three. You do have a Drake, yep. You have a three, three, five. Does it fly? Yeah, it flies. <laughs> okay, you're up 14. I'm a 14, I just dead. I'm gonna play defense grid. Tomer, do you have any interaction here? I have some way that I'd be able to try to stop the grid, but I wouldn't be able to do much more after because of the canonist. You know what I can do? Oh yeah, it's a spectral sailor. Read him and weep, boys. Yeah, yeah, that's good with, yeah, I have no response to defense grid. GT? No! Son of a bitch. <laughs> no! Oh wait, wait, I gotta pay more mana to all of this volume. Opal and Tower are tapped. And I have two mana. So I will a Lightning Tutor with two mana. So I'm gonna search for Trinisphere. Put Trinisphere on top. Go to combat. The Arden triggers, I will suit up the G tape and the sword on the Arden. I will swing Mind Sensor, Drake Token, Thalia at Dylan, and then Arden at Tomer. I will block Arden and Spectral Sailor. Two GTA counters. I'll put these two in front of Thalia and take five, is it? Yeah, okay, I'll kill the Mystic. Well, that didn't work out correctly at all. <laughs> you got hit by two creatures, two triggers, that is all. All right, can I top deck an extra turn spell, please, and thank you. I'll turn. All right, Richard, here it is. We're swinging everything on you. So I'm dead no matter what, right? If so you don't I... block, yeah, I can kill you with death, right? Uh, you get four off death, right? Plus you have like a whole horde of creatures over there too, I right? do have a seven, seven and a five, five and a one, two dock side. If you have an extra turn spell, I'm dead. I guess who do I, who do I put in the better position to win afterwards, right? <laughs> this <laughs> so is a strange what, kind of king making situation. No matter because... what, I'm dead. I think we just blocked the two dorks. Kind of an awkward spot for Richard to be in. No matter what he does, he's just kind of dead via combat damage. So it's kind of a weird King Mickey situation. I think, yes, you should block even if you're on the way out because blocking is a deterrent from your opponent from attacking. You're so right. if you just could lose by doing nothing and you do nothing then you are like creating the situation. But if you could block, your opponent might not want to sacrifice their attacking creature to attack you, right?
So that would essentially get you through another turn and incentivize them, yeah. So I take seven. With Edric's triggers on the stack, so you're blocking two, so I'm gonna draw two cards. I believe you draw them one at a time, if that makes a difference. Okay, so I'll draw one card, and then I'm going to, in response to the second trigger, cast Reclaim, targeting Temporal Manipulation. I'm going to take this moment to exile that Temporal am, with Death Wish Shaman. I am very foolish, and I am very <laughs> sad. And Two I damage will... to each of you. <laughs> Three. All right, so then I do draw a different card. That Death Wish Shaman's actually pretty decent. Pretty good card, Death Wish Shaman. Elves died, Cat Ket has died. I'll pass a turn. Untap. I'm gonna play this Calvin turn. Sure. Sylvan Library, not pay any life and take one card. Richard, I'll come at you with the first sliver and a Dockside Extortionist. I'll come at you with the, your your commander also. This is unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Kill Death Rider, shall we? Tomer, you said you have another another extra turn spell in your graveyard? Heck yeah, I do. Try to exile the best one. I'm notorious strong. And she each for two. And then that's the no locks because it doesn't matter. Die to first strike damage. Rogue X gone. I'll cast Intuition. Sabine's Reclamation. Underworld Breach, the Squee. Can I have one of those cards into my hand? You can have Squee. Cast yeah. Lion's Eye Diamond. Sack Lion's Eye Diamond for three red, discarding Spell Pierce, Praetor's Grasp, and Squee. I'll give you a Spirit and flashback Savine's Reclamation. All right, I have a response. Counter Spell. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, pass turn. End step, I'm just gonna crack the Scalding turn. Yeah. 17, I'm gonna grab a Breeding Pool. It will enter the battlefield tapped. Untapping. No blockers. No blockers. I'm hellbent. I have one treasure. I'm sensing a couple extra turns right now. You don't even need it. You need like literally just one extra turn. I'm at nine. I will swing. This is five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I'll go to one. Draw three cards. Slither Blade. Spire Tracer. Artificer's Assistant. Elvish Mystic. All right. Go ahead. All right. Untap. Sylvan Library. One, two, Three, those cards don't do it. Yeah, I'm gonna take one card, play Tundra, pass my turn. Uh, I'm you got yeah. it. Good <laughs> shit, wait, man, good game. <laughs> kind of ended in a fizzle after all that. What a game to end like that, out of just like last, just he's, Tomer's still alive, and <laughs> then that's, really that's what it. Was. It. <laughs> it was just like, everyone else just kind of died around me. I didn't know what happened. First Cameron went down, and then Richard. Richard was in the, like, in the driver's seat for most of that game, and then all of a sudden, just like, he died. And then, like, you just, like, withered. Yeah. You were... That's just kind of what happens when there's, like, a big attacky deck at the table, I think, is, like, if there's enough stacks pieces, it stops the combo decks from combing off, so everyone is resorting to combat damage. The Boros deck is really good there until the time runs out because the Boros deck couldn't find a combo finish. You got hit by a 7-7 seven, seven a couple of times. <laughs> yeah! Fu Chain wins not games, but can attack people for 7. 7-7s seven, win games. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon. Check out our bonfire store for our cool new t-shirt designs. If you want to pick up any of the cards that you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Our Alter Sleeves affiliate link now gets you 5% off your order, so check that out down below too. We have Playmats, a new kind only for this month. You can check it out at playtowinmtg.com. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.